Use this quick hike play to go ahead and get big completions in the middle, on the sidelines, and underneath. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus. You're the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to go ahead and, and actually build off of um, uh, a formation I previously showed to you, which was the Cardinals formation gun flip trips. Uh, I was showing you uh, the, uh, the play, which which was the deep fork. Uh, and today what we're gonna do is we have a quick audible, which is gonna be a play action read. Uh, this is a play that's actually in other, this play type is in other playbooks, uh, but it's not, uh, the flip trips makes it unique. It's the only in the Cardinals playbook. But if you're using deep fork, which is unique to strictly to the Cardinals, this is a good play to go and jump into because you're gonna be attacking your opponent in different areas of the field that he's not gonna be expecting to hit. So once again, uh, it, it's gonna be the gun. Uh, flip trips out of the Cardinals playbook and as one of our base audibles which is going to be the play action read and what I like about this particular play is that uh, it just puts players in weird positions and it makes it very hard for your opponent to lock it up and it also gives you some pretty big play opportunities down deep down the field. Now for the sake of this breakdown uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to use random uh, coverages so we're going to just use random zone coverages cover two cover three deep zones. Now, uh, I'm only going to make one adjustment. I'm going to take Nelson, uh, who's going to be my slot receiver, ironically one of my fastest receiver. I'm going to put him on a on a fade route. Now, the reason I do this is that he clears out the zones, and then uh, basically what it does is it gives me a one-play touchdown opportunity. Now, how I make these reads, I'm going to do open field concept. I don't know what the computer is going to be using. This is all going to be uh, open reads. I'm going to automatically look off to Kirk and see if I get single coverage. Majority of the time, single coverage will... Uh, uh, will get beat uh, by uh, by the deep comeback route, and that's an easy 15 plus yard completion. If not, I'm going to go and dump it down to Johnson, and then I'm going to go and look to Williams and potentially Nelson, uh, it, whatever uh, type of coverage I get. So defender does, uh, uh, does float over. We're going to dump this ball down to the running back. I'm going to show you how this running back route is actually going to get more yardage. So once again, we're going to set this up. I'm going to focus on the running back route. Now, what's you can see the de defenders don't play the running back route. And what you can do is you can get some pretty easy yards underneath uh, with this running back route. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, I'm not somebody that actually uses the Playmaker feature. But what's cool about this is this is the first guy that you actually have the ability to go ahead and Playmaker right from the very beginning. So as quickly as you get that play action animation, you can push up with a stick. And you can see instead of him staying flat to the line of scrimmage, I can push him up uh, and actually pick up a good 7, 8, or 8 yards before he catches the ball, meaning I'll be, be able to get an easy uh, first down. So once again, we're going to go ahead and take Nelson. We're going to put him on uh, a streak. And we're going to look to this running back route. This is where we're going to check this down to to get easy completion. So basically what I'm looking at is I'm going to look from the left to the right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my Nelson and put him on a uh, fade route. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the defender over the left tackle, that outside linebacker, and see if he floats up. If he floats up uh, towards the direction of Kirk, then I know that that route is going to be taken away. It's going to get covered up. So my next prog my pr next progression is going to be Johnson, the running back underneath, Williams uh, going over the middle, and then uh, actually Nelson up top. So we're going to cover two shell. And you can see right here, this area of the field is wide open. I could have playmakered that up. So once again, we're going to be taking a look at that, that area off the left hand field. Now I got one-on-one -on -one coverage. I can go ahead and check this route because this defender didn't float up. So it's a really fast read. I'm watching this guy. And unless he floats up in this area, um, I know that I'm going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage. And 9 out of 10 times, he's going to beat his man unless this guy actually puts some kind of a crazy manual cloud flat out there. But if you're running this play correctly, he's not going to be prepared for this because this is going to be uh, something you'll hit maybe once or twice. So once again, we're going to go and streak up Nelson. Now what's cool about this is this release against cover two. So if you got a guy that likes to run a lot of uh, cover two high shells, that um, that little um, uh, corner post route, that, that, that corner post route will get a really good separation. So now if you get single coverage, this is where you can get 
a huge play opportunity over the top with the read. So it's it's, it's kind of like a, a, a pass-off coverage. And this is where you can get that huge play if he runs some kind of a cover four. So I'm watching this guy real quick. And watch how this guy actually starts carrying. And then he comes down and plays underneath. So he knows he's got to come down. This is going to put this defender out of position. And if I got my fastest wide receiver in this area, he's going to go ahead and beat this guy for a big play. And a lot of times they'll be able to go and get a one play touchdown out of that. So this is a really good play to go and throw into your scheme if you're using deep, uh, uh, deep posts. You can playmaker this guy up, uh, pick up some pretty easy yards, and this is just going to frustrate your opponent if you're throwing it in the scheme uh, against your opponent. So once again, my subscribers, thank you guys uh, for your support. If you do like these tips, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. And to my patrons, I really appreciate the support. Until next time.